Okay, so the first question number one is, in which year is the story set? So if we look in the first, so which paragraph is it? Third. Third paragraph. And the story is set in which year is it? 1850. Okay, so let's write down our answer. Uh, sorry. Okay, okay, we record now. Okay, all right. Okay, you already know it. So, this story is set. In 1815, full stop. Nice sentence. Let's go back up, put number one in there. Question number two. Okay, in which country does the incident take place? Now the quest, key question is in which country, not which town. In which country, not the town. Because it mentions the town, it is in Rome. That's the town. Okay, so Rome is the capital of which country is it? Italy. So the answer is going to be for number two. The incident takes place in the incident place in Italy. Full stop. So, so that, we're trying to be clever there. The instance is actually not mentioned in the, which country is mentioned in the town, but the Rome is in Italy. Okay. Number three. For what reason did Ben choose to work at the Spanish Steps? So what was the reason that he chose to work there? So, we start off with Ben. So this is choose, we say, chose. So Ben chose to work at the, Ben chose the Spanish Steps. Remember Spanish steps must have capital there? Okay, okay. So it's all sort of the Spanish. So Ben chose the Spanish steps. Okay, because I had two reasons. One, it was close to the hotel where he worked. And second thing was, there was always so much, there was always so much life and movement there. So he liked those two things close to where he worked. And is, we can go there, there's always so much life and movement, so those two reasons go in there. So Ben chose the Spanish steps, and we can say as they were close to his, the hotel they were, as they, as they, or as, as it was, Spanish steps, as it was close to the hotel in which he worked and Okay, and there was so much and there was so much life and movement there. Okay, that's the answer for number three. So that's the reason why he chose that particular place. It was close to where you went and you had lots of life movement there. Okay, number four. Question number four says, what could Ben see from his favorite place at the top of the Spanish steps? So look at the text. I want you to look at the text and tell me what could he see? What was what was what could he see? It mentions at least three things in the answer. So give me some give me uh Hafsa, give me one the, give me one thing that you could see. The he could see so Ben could see, give me three items, give me one item, one. Uh, good, good pitch. No. Western Skyline. Western Skyline was one thing you could see. What else could he see? Number two, give me another item. 
more easy. You can see the Western skyline with the holes in the background. Go on. Unfinished flower. Uh-uh, too far. Okay, go on. Okay, no, no, no. In the first paragraph, all the answers in the first paragraph. He could see the western skyline, comma, with the Vatican, Vatican and the long Jew Daniculum ridge. So all those three things have been mentioned in our answer. Lovely. Let's get that down. And then we'll... Number four. So Ben could see the western Skyline. Not a Nissan Skyline, that's something completely different. With the Vatican. And the long That's all in the first paragraph at the end of the first paragraph. Okay, question number five, Bilal. Read question number five to us, please. Uh, number five. What made the step as, I, as an ideal place for an artist to work? Okay. So which paragraph are we looking for the answer? Uh, second. Mm -hmm. second. Second paragraph. There's always so much life and movement there. People streamed up and down like the angel endlessly. He had counted them. Okay, so it's easy for him to do his job there. So for number five, so why are the steps an ideal place for the artist to work? Because there's always many people to, what was he doing? Many people to draw, to sketch. And once he'd drawn them, then he could then sell it. So there's many people for him to sketch and draw, and to sell. So them are the two answers that we need for number five. So number five, the steps. So the steps... Ideal place. An ideal place for an artist to work. Okay. Because we can put because in now. Because there were always many people to draw. Many people to draw, and you could sell his work there. Many people to draw, and he could sell his work there. That's the end of number five. So we need to find the right part of the text, and we need to give the full answer, okay? And we need to make sure we know it. So the steps, the artists, what they mentioned, the keywords, and the question of the keywords in the answer. Don't start using words like he and she and stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. Try to be more specific. Like you mentioned Ben and the steps, okay? So the his work, so here, to sell his work, actually here, rather than saying his work here, yeah, we can say to sell. Okay, for number five, because they're talking about an artist here, I think to sell. Well, we can say sell their work because we're talking generally. Okay, the steps were an ideal place for an artist to work, uh, to work because there were always so many people. Okay, there. Okay, were always uh, so many people to draw, and he could sell his work and there. He, and he, and we said, and he, and it should be they. Just sorting it out. 
and they could sell their work there. The artist, for example, sorry about Or he in this particular instance. Okay. Number six. What do you think is meant by a lightning sketch? Put your hand up if you know the answer to that. Okay, that's a noise. Like a quick sketch. Okay, so a lightning sketch means a quick one, done in a short time. So let's write that down. So a a lightning sketch. Means a very quick. Quick sketch. Okay, we're gonna uh, break now for a bit and pause the video. It's time for Salat al Maghrib, and we'll come back in a few minutes after we are finished. So we'll pause here. Okay, we're back live now for recording. Question number seven. And number seven says Ben had previously lived in another city. Can you tell which one? So, number seven. Right. Okay. I want somebody. The actual answer is not in the text. You have to infer it from a particular line. You have to, uh, like, you know, deduce it from something. The actual answer is not there. But by reading something, it will give you a tally what the answer is. So, Mr. Bilal. Which other city did he live in, Ben? Germany. Okay, you got to show me which evidence you used to think that he lived in Germany. I'll just okay, we're not doing uh, making up comprehension. He says in fourth paragraph. Okay, have a look at paragraph number three. What does it say? Read paragraph number three. Huh? Frankly, too, as he had heard men say in Covent Garden Market. So he he had been in Covent Garden Market. Where is that? Where is Covent Garden? Who knows where that is? It is in? Italy? It's in London. That's right. So number seven, we can infer Ben had previously lived in? London. Okay, let's write that down. Ben? Oh, whoops. So Ben? So now. Had it's coming. Lived in London. Yeah, that's it. So Ben, so where did he previously? So Ben had previously previously lived in London. Okay. Because. So we can tell that the brand had previously lived in London, as that is where Carbon Garden is, because that's what he mentioned in the conversation. That he, had, he heard men say, so he was actually there. Okay, you to the back, if you copy that sentence, all that down? Yes. All of it? Yes. Good. Okay, lovely. Okay, number eight. Okay, Moise, read number eight for me, please. Number eight. What occupation had Ben besides being an artist? So the artist was like his uh, second kind of hobby type occupation. What was his main occupation? Uh, let's have uh, everybody look at the text. And uh, the clue is in the first uh, paragraph and also in the last paragraph when when Mr. Sir Henry J burst out on him. Because I beg your pardon, sir, you were requiring me. I was told I'd likely find you here. Gad, a servant of mine. So he used to work in a hotel. He was a... Where? Okay, so he was a servant of Sir Henry, who was a waiter, yeah? So he worked in a hotel as a servant. So, then... He was a servant... Okay, just uh, a servant of Sir Henry.
So Ben was a servant of Sir Henry's. Belonging to him, yeah? Yeah. Most of the knowledge is Okay, question number nine, read to me please, yeah. Okay, question number nine, read to question number nine, please, go on. Read for me, please. This sketch of the tools with about five. Okay, number nine. Which sketch have the tourists been about to buy? Okay, who knows the answer for that one? Come on, boys, look for the answer. Wait, wait, wait. There. What sketch was the... Uh, what was the name of the sketch? What was it called? It's in the middle of the uh, text. It was called the... Unfinished flower girl. Lovely. So the tourists have just been about to buy this sketch of a... For the unfinished flower girl. Dream. So, there. The tourist had been about the flower girl. Why? Had been about to buy. Does that all make sense? Had been about to The tourist had been about to buy. Yeah, that's all right. Then he needs to have a sentence. No, I know that, but just a bit of a house. Is it the flower girl, sir? The unfinished flower girl. Yeah, the unfinished flower girl. That's why you label it, isn't it? Okay. To buy the unfinished flower girl. Number 10. So why was Sir Henry's anger so great at finding Ben there? Now this one requires a bit of interpretation as well. But you look at the, list, the answers in the last paragraph. Okay, Hafsa, go for it. Because of he was... Um, ben is his servant and he should have been there. Okay, but it says that if you look at the text, it goes here, I beg your pardon, sir, you were requiring me. I was told I'd, I'd likely find you here. Gad, a servant of mine, hawking good in the street like a cheap jack. My friends will be asking, don't I pay you enough? You need to be looking at the text, not at the window, Mr. Bilal. Yeah? So, what was the, what was the issue here? What did he feel? What did Sir Henry really feel inside? He felt what? Angry. He felt angry and uh, embarrassed because, not worried, angry and embarrassed in front of his friends. friends. Because they would be thinking, as he just said, my friends would be thinking that I don't pay you enough. Yeah? So that was what he's worried about. So Sir Angry was so angry because he thought his friend would be asking if he did not pay him enough and he had to do a second job. So for number 10, so Sir Henry was so angry. Because he felt embarrassed in front of his friends. He felt that his friends That his friends would be asking. His friends. Yeah, that his friends would be asking. Yeah. Sir Ali was so angry because he felt that his friends would be asking. His friends would. His friends would be asking. Oh, oh, I think I'm going to be wrong. His friends would be asking. Okay, would be asking him. No, his friends would be asking him. Him is. Would he get paid enough? If he said that he's getting paid enough. If.
Yeah, done. Done, number 10? Yeah. Okay, that's an act for sex. Okay. Right. Let's have a quick look at what else we got here. We got uh, mental arithmetic, verbal reasoning here. Oh, so much to put away, What do you do with the uh, practice? The one that we just put down? You can take the whole gift to your parents. Oh. You can use that to mark your work. Oh, Them the answers for your parents. Oh. You take that home. Oh, I've also got more answers for you as well. What? Not for you. Oh. Okay, these answers for you as well for the non verbal reasoning work. No, 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 don't put answers there. Put the answers in one place. Put the answers over here. I'm going to give you a poly pocket to put the answers in. Oh, okay. Sir, can you give me a poly what pocket? Sure. Put my things in because they all get crumbled. No, no, just for, for help for answers, not for everybody. Oh, yeah, oh, can you give us one? Right, hang on one second. Just yesterday. Okay, right. Uh, oh, okay, go. Oh, what is the answer to the one? No. Are we Shh, what's that? 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 Yeah. For your mom to mark your work? Shh. Answers don't call cancer unless your name is Bilal. <laughs> then they give you every type of cancer. No, you don't talk, sir. You don't talk, sir. Oh, gosh. Well, let's let you know. These are all answers. Oh, what is it?